Hey, what's up everybody? Matt here with Adjuster TV and welcome to the Hurricane Ian Daily Briefing. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, and we have a couple of uh, updated um, postings for jobs. There's still work out there. I know that you know there, there may be some things going a little bit sideways here and there, but there's still plenty of work, I promise to you that. So let's just jump straight into it. First of all, uh, this daily briefing is sponsored by Kaplik for e &O insurance and general liability for adjusters. If you've got some experience, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV. There is a free guide for all the different kinds of insurance that you need as an adjuster there at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by how to become an insurance adjuster at adjustertv.com slash start. Um, that is the road to the storm. Um, become an insurance adjuster guide. It's totally free. It's a series of video trainings. It explains in detail everything that you need to know to get started as an independent adjuster. Okay, so Sedgwick um, reached out to me and to let me know that as in addition to their ongoing active deployments, and they, this is what they modified a little bit, experience is required but not preferred for field adjusters in Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia, as well as desk, in office, and remote. And again, there's a link there, and all these links are gonna be down in the description below, so click them and go to them. Um, as well as uh, a series of uh, three other opportunities, um, that they have an immediate need for on-site clerks to observe and record the number of workers, equipment, and materials used for, used for remediation and construction projects. Uh, prior construction experience is not required. Travel is required to Fort Myers, Florida, and they expect you to be on-site for at least two weeks at a time. Uh, they will reimburse you for travel expenses. Uh, proficiency in Excel is required. Overtime is available. Um, after a short interview, the position will start immediately. If you're interested and available, please apply directly to the the following gigantic link, which again will be down below that you can click on. I'm not gonna read that whole thing off. Uh, their second opportunity that they have is an immediate need for claim support in Orlando, Florida office. This is an office role. Start date is Thursday, uh, October 6th, which is day after tomorrow. Uh, 10 hours a day, six days a week at $22 an hour. Uh, do the math on that, that adds up to pretty decent money. Um, please feel free to refer a friend or forward this message to anyone interested. If interested, please apply directly to this gigantic link here, which again, will be down below. And again, this is claim support, so you're gonna be on the phone most likely, um, and then sitting in front of a computer for six days a week at $22 an hour, which again, it's not bad money. Um, so I, it's something I would encourage you to look into if you don't have any other opportunities. Also, um, their third one is that they have an on-demand uh, inspections uh, opportunity in Florida. So this is gonna be using an app. Um, you do not have to write an estimate, um, but they said that there's a potential to make a minimum of $3,500 a week uh, working five days with the opportunity for more based on your availability to take additional assignments. Um, again, no estimate is required. All documentation uh, must be uploaded to the resource app the same day as the inspection. So if you do an inspection, you take photos and, and whatever that else is required in the app, then you need to make sure that that gets uploaded that very same day. If interested uh, and available, please send, please email the word inspections to your profile at sedgwick.com. Uh, Advanced Adjusting had an update for us. They're also looking for adjusters who have some ability experience. Um, for again, this is for um, field um, and remote examiners. Um, they're still looking for experienced field adjusters for property and flood claims, as well as file examiners for both. Um, if, if you're not on the roster, then you need to use that link uh, to jump on the roster. And then once you are on the roster, once you've gone through their little application, um, then send an email with your full contact info and the type of work you want to do. And, and if, you, you know, if you've got some ability experience or you know, you're learning it or whatever, um, then send that as well to claims at advadj.com. If you are an IA firm and you want to be included in this daily briefing while it lasts, send the following information to adjustertv.com slash contact and let me know the three following things. Uh, the role that you need filled, whether it's field adjuster, remote adjuster, trainer, file review, team manager, QA, whatever, let me know what you need filled. Um, experience requirement, if any. 
uh, and then the contact information um, and, and how the your applicant you want the applicants to apply to this role. If it's if you got an email, if you have a contact person, uh, if you got a web page, uh, whatever. Um, and again, Adjuster TV has well over 20,000 20, subscribers at this point with, with a overall viewership of about double that, um, as well as um, a considerable email list and social media presence. So we've got a pretty good reach. If, if you really need to, you need to get your hands on adjusters, then uh, absolutely reach out to me. Um, that, that link right there, adjustertv.com slash contact goes straight to my email. So if, you know, if you've got this information, if you, want, if you want me to post up tomorrow or sometime this week or whatever, let me know. And again, all details for all the videos are available in the description below where you're watching this video. And that concludes the daily briefing for Ian, um, October 4th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.